It's the best time of the year for high school basketball fans with the IHSA postseason now in full swing. We have plenty of games on deck for everyone back at home, so I won't waste any more time. We start off our trek across the Tri-States tonight with a trip to Carthage. That's where the Chargers were looking to keep their postseason dreams alive at home against the Sockies. Pittsfield huddling up before the opening tip, looking to pick up that road win. Sockies working it down low to Caden Ferguson. He goes off the window for the first points of this one. Illini West would answer on the other end. They kick it back out beyond the arc to Nolan Dietrich. He lets it fly and connects on the trifecta. Dietrich would put on a three-point clinic today later in the game. He shows off the pretty step back and finds water at the bottom of the well. This one went back and forth. Pittsfield looking on the comeback. Brennan Thomas uncorks this one and smacks home a triple of his own. When it's all said and done, Illini West escapes with a 47-45 victory and will advance to the regional semifinal. Good crowd at hand at Warsaw to see Wes Hancock take on Rushville in the regional quarterfinal right out of the gates. Titans would come out firing. They swing it to Alec Himes. He launches this one and sinks it from beyond the arc. Wes Hancock would stay hot from distance. Gage Scott joining in on the fun. Buries this big time tray. Titans jumped out to a 17-0 lead in the first quarter. The Rockets had a hard time slowing down the Titans. They go right back to Himes in the corner. He makes the defense pace, splashing home another triple. Russell forced to call a timeout. However, they couldn't find their footing in this one. And Wes Hancock would come away with a big 89-42 victory over the Rockets and advance to the next round of the postseason. Those are just two games of a small taste of Illinois postseason today. WGM's Victoria Bordenga was all over the land of Lincoln and now joins me back in the studio to break down all the action. Take it away, Victoria. Thank you, Brendan. Fans from all over made sure to come out today to support their schools and the teams playing did not disappoint. Let's get to the action. The Danny Stephen list Southeastern Suns prepare to take on West Prairie in today's regional quarterfinal. The Suns had an early lead against the Cyclones, looking to build on that griff in Tippy. Post up and drops the deuce. Suns lead by seven in the first quarter. Keeping their foot on the gas, Southeastern is going to dish the rock to Griffin Tippy again, and he takes it down low and gets the bucket for two. West Prairie won't stay quiet for much longer. They answer back by getting the steal, and Ashton Barkley is going to turn on the Jets, and he's going to go down the court. Oh, got him with a nice pair here. Nice hustle play there by the senior from the Cyclones. The Suns trying to bounce back after that play as Aiden Akers will go for the long distance two, and he's going to sink it right in. Look at that. Southeastern looking to pull this game away, and after that, they do. The Suns win over the Cyclones 47 to 31. The Suns will play the winner of Bushville and Greenview in the next round of regionals. Well, it's a packed house in Payson as both Liberty and Payson Seymour fight to keep their postseason alive. The Indians had an early lead in the first quarter as Blake Schwartz decides to keep the rock, taking it down low and connecting at the rack for two. Keeping that momentum going, Payson Seymour gets the rebound and weighs no time at all. They're going to take it coast to coast as Brian Deaker is going to do the rest down the baseline. He passes three defenders and kisses one off the glass. Nice hustle play there from the blue and white. The Indians wouldn't stop there. Brian Deaker is going to be back in the spotlight. He gets the steal and takes it down to the baseline for an easy layup. Payson Seymour was firing on all cylinders at home. Your final when it's all said and done, Payson Seymour will win over Liberty 51-41. to The Indians will play this Wednesday at Payson Seymour for the regional semifinals. Earlier this evening, the Mustangs played host to Fulton as they try to both keep their uh, postseasons run alive. The first half was neck and neck in this matchup. Unity looking to show out at home as Gavin Koenig creates separation and hits a nice little fadeaway shot for two. Mustangs will keep that momentum going as, they steal, as they're going to steal the rock here again. Gavin Koenig scoops it up and takes it to the rack for the pair. Koenig getting it done at home for the home team. Cody Schaefer now is going to make his way down the court for the Mustangs. With, an, with little to no defensive pressure, he goes for the trifecta and sinks it in. Schaefer put up 13 points for Unity tonight. Your final after for the Mustangs will get the victory over South Fulton, 62-36. to At 6 o'clock this Wednesday, Unity will go to Camp Point Central in the regional semifinals against the Panthers. 
Reedy, a lot of tri-state teams are advancing in the postseason. It's an exciting time for high school basketball. I'll toss it back to you, Brendan. Thanks, Victoria. Let's check in on some other scores from the hardwood today and more high school regional action. Griggsville Perry defeats Western 51-29. Brown County over Hartsburg Emden 56-36. Bushnell Prairie City defeating Greenville 67-27. Pleasant Hill falling to New Berlin 57-19. And how about Elmwood taking down West Central 41-37. On the